What is going to produce a negative slope? Well, a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, both of those are going to result in a negative. So let's think about our unit circle. In the first quadrant, all are positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. And in the last quadrant, cosine is positive. So we have that sine is positive, in the, and let's, let's actually break this down since we're not dealing with cosine. Instead, we'll just break it down into two circles. So this is our sine circle. Sine is positive in the top two quadrants. And then this is our tangent circle. Okay, tangent is positive in the third quadrant and in the first quadrant where they're all positive. So we can see that in the second quadrant, tangent's positive, but sine is, or sorry, tangent's negative, but sine is positive. So that's going to be a positive times a negative, and that, that second quadrant is pi over 2 until pi. So that's one interval where this is going to have a negative slope. Okay, we can also see that in the third quadrant, tangent's positive, but sine is negative. So the third quadrant also works. So we can actually also say that this slope is going to be negative from pi over, or sorry, just pi pi until 3 pi over 2. Okay, so this is quadrant 2, and this is quadrant 3. Okay, but now in the fourth quadrant, they're both negative, so that's going to cancel positive, and in the first quadrant, they're both positive, so that's also going to produce a positive. So it's just in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 that this is going to have a negative slope. Now, where is it undefined? Okay, well, it's going to be undefined whenever we have a divide by zero error. So we can remember that tangent is just sine over cosine. So this is going to be undefined when cosine is equal to zero. So when is cosine equal to zero? Because that's going to cause a divide by zero error. And that happens at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Okay, now this is going to be flat when dy dx equals 0. So when does dy dx equal 0? All right, so let's think about when sine is 0. Sine equals 0 at t equals 0, pi, and 2 pi. And because tangent is sine divided by cosine, it turns out that tangent is also 0 at 0, pi, and 2 pi. So those are our places where our slope is equal to 0, because it's going to give us 0 times 0. And a flat slope corresponds with a slope of 0. So 0 pi and 2 pi. For uh, undefined, that's going to be at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, because that is where cosine is 0, causing a divide by 0 error.